This video is sponsored by Squarespace. How's it going guys? Vincent here from the creative dojo.net. Welcome to another episode of Dojo TV, a show where I talk about all things motion graphics and visual effects related. There's a lot of new stuff I want to share in this episode. Let's go ahead and get started. So first off, I want to talk about the Cooler 5 project. Now, we've been having a lot of great success in the last few Cooler 5 projects. You guys have just submitted a lot of awesome entries, a lot of cool submissions, a lot of clever submissions. So the next Cooler 5's theme is the theme automation meaning things are automated for you, things are automatic, uh, whether it's robots, whether it's computers or whatever, it's you know program or software or hacking or whatever it is. Um, the theme is automation, so create a five second animation talking about theme automation. The most clever, well-designed animation wins. You can only use five colors, five seconds. The price this time is Templar by Data Clay. It's a very, very awesome script that really allows you to you know, automate the process of making dynamic layers within After Effects. So, you know, you can actually have dynamic text layers that change when you change a spreadsheet. Uh, you can import tweets, uh, live tweets from Twitter to integrate it into After Effects text layers. You can dynamically change text layouts, shapes, images, videos, um, layers, solids, and all that stuff dynamically uh, using, you know, spreadsheets and things like that. And things will automatically update for you in After Effects automatically and maintain the same layout and structure as you planned it. So it's a very nice way to kind of streamline the process uh, lots of revisions and stuff like that. So it's a really great plugin to just kind of uh, automate the process of After Effects for you to make things very dynamic. You can swap out assets very, very easily. Check it out by Data Clay over at AE Scripts. That's going to be the prize for the first place winner of the next Cooler 5 automation uh, contest here. So check it out. It's worth over $100. So hope you see your submissions on that one. The submission is going to be due November 27th at 11.59 p.m. Central Standard Time. So check it out. Can we just see your submissions? And uh, that's pretty much it for the Cooler 5 project. Next, I want to talk about a really, really cool sci-fi short film called Ambition. And this one's actually created by the European Space Agency as well as a studio called Platige Image. And it's actually about the Rosetta space mission that was recently a success, uh, where we landed a freaking, uh, I guess, satellite on a comet. And so this short film is actually about that mission and the process of it. It's very, very cool because it's a sci-fi, a uh, science fiction film mixed with scientific old fact and stuff like that. So it's a very, very cool short film. Very well done, awesome visual effects, awesome storytelling. And if you love sci-fi, definitely check it out. It stars the same guy that plays Lord Baelish in Game of Thrones. So it's a definitely a really cool short film. And I highly suggest that you watch it if you're really interested in sci-fi. It's very, very informative and uh, very cool. You know, I love space, as you guys know. Now, if you're really interested in character animation, you know, wondering how people rig up characters and how people animate these characters around in scenes and complex environments and how to get them to move and such like that. There's a very, very cool video explaining how the people of Rovio actually rigged up the Angry Birds characters for their show, the Angry Birds show. This is actually a very, very in-depth, but as well as a general overview of how they actually rigged up their Angry Birds characters so they can animate in their show. It's very, very complex. And, you know, there's a lot of secondary movement, you know, a lot of really cool expressions and stuff like that. It's a really great in behind the scenes look at how complex character animation can actually be. Um, you know, something I haven't really done myself, but a very, very cool video just to see how people, the pros do it and how they rig up characters for really complex stuff like this. So very cool if you're into After Effects character rigging. So a lot of you guys have requested I cover more visual effects related topics. So from now on, I'm going to push for more of that kind of stuff to the show. I've kind of been kind of neglecting it a little bit, but you know, from now on, more visual effects. But in recent news, Blackmagic Design actually released a, a new version of their Fusion software, Fusion 7. And um, it's actually a compositing program that I've never heard of before, actually, because I'm not really too much into compositing. But they released Fusion 7, and basically it's a compositor program similar to After Effects and Nuke. And pretty much what it is, it's kind of node-based. And um, the reason why it's very, very interesting is because they actually released a free version, a, com a non-commercial free version, which allows you to use it absolutely free. There's a few limitations such as no full-time support, uh, no third-party plugin support, as well as a, a few other restrictions such as, you know, crazy fancy rendering options and render farm options and nodes and stuff like that. But pretty much it's a really big deal because there's a free version out that you can actually try out for free. It looks very, very promising. And if you wanted to switch away from After Effects for whatever reason, try out the nodes kind of interface, uh, definitely check out Fusion 7. It's free. And I think that the free version is fully capable of doing a lot of things. You know, it has a few limitations, but again, it's a full-fledged compositing program. It looks very promising. Definitely check it out. Lastly, the Foundry is actually releasing a new version of their Nuke software compositing program. Uh, that's soon to come. And the reason why that's kind of in the news recently, well, obviously because it's the Foundry and a lot of people use Nuke nowadays. 
But also, they're also releasing a, again, a non-commercial version of their new software, which you can download for free. Again, there are some limitations to that as well, such as no third-party plugins. And I believe you're kind of limited on the nodes a little bit. But for the most part, again, it's very, very capable. And if you wanted to switch from After Effects to Nuke, this is a really great way to just try it out without having to pay a lot of money for it. So it's a very interesting thing. Check it out. All the links will be down in the description down below or in the article down below. Also, you're primarily an After Effects user and you've kind of been thinking about switching to Nuke or you're kind of curious about, uh, you know, what Nuke is all about, how to use Nuke and how to use a node-based application such as Nuke. Well, Joey from School of Motion actually did a really great video explaining the differences between After Effects and Nuke and kind of did a comparison on how to do something in After Effects and Nuke. And it's a really great way to just compare the two programs together, kind of see a you know, general overview of how Nuke is compared to After Effects. So definitely check that video out. Again, the links will be down below. So before we continue with the show, let's go and take a quick break and thank our sponsor Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Now, Squarespace is pretty awesome. They have tons of themes to choose from. It's professionally well-designed. They have a very easy page builder that allows you to create pretty much websites anywhere you want, any style you want. Easily type content in, drag images in, drag videos in, drag assets in. You can create a very professionally well-designed template and website for your business, portfolio, or online store. They have awesome 24-hour support, great designs. You can try Squarespace absolutely for free by going to squarespace.com dojo. And by using the promo code dojo, you can actually save 10% off your order. So check it out, squarespace.com dojo. Really awesome place to build a website for your online business, store, or portfolio. Squarespace. So let's go and talk about the winners of the last Cooler 5 project. Uh, the last Cooler 5 was actually themed Slice It Up. In the first place was actually Aaron Smith. He did a great job of submitting an entry that was very, very entertaining, very funny, and referenced Alfred Hitchcock's uh, The Rear Window. So that's pretty cool as well. So really great job. Our second place winner was John Howe. He submitted a really funny, brilliant, and kind of happy and cheerful submission. I thought it was very well done. It was funny. And, uh, you know, he uses the colors very well to match the kind of mood of his animation. So great work. Third place is by Christian Cunwald, and he did a great little animation that kind of, you know, literally took the slice it up approach uh, very directly. These clever little ninja slices, very, very cute, very fun little animation. And uh, I think it was very well done. It kind of really matches the theme pretty directly. So awesome work. Our fourth place winner was Ricardo Mendez, and he did a great job at creating a very nice zombie animation. I like the characters, I like the slicing, I like the colors, the kind of dark kind of zombie color. Uh, the animation kind of reminded me of Zombieville, so he did a great job at that. So great work, guys. You guys should have gotten your prizes already. Uh, that included the Lens Effects Prism by Rody Polis, really great stock footage pack for light elements, as well as three copies of the Slice It Up script, which allows you to slice these up in After Effects very, very easily, as well as my secret application key displayer for Mac. So thank you guys for submitting your entries. But that's pretty much it for the Dojo TV shows this time, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy the shows. Again, all the links will be in the video description down below if you could check out. A lot of great resources, a lot of entertaining stuff. Just check it out. My name is Vincent Wynn from the Creative Dojo, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.